Well, looks like we're at it again here. Got a call a few minutes ago. They said that we caught a couple of chipmunks. We're using the small swing panel traps here, the 5x5s, even the 3x5. They said we had two chipmunks. I cheated. I took a quick look first. I actually got three. All I've done here is just taken double door trap sets in just a few seconds you just lift up the trigger bar and set it on top of the swing panel I just put it along the edges of the travel ways and then I'll just sprinkle a few seeds these black sunflower seeds occasionally Put a peanut in there or something. But they're traveling along the edges anyway, so it doesn't make too much difference. That one's in a little 3x5. Actually, I had a guy the other day that called for a custom size trap. So I made him this little 16 incher. Same type of principle. It's a 3.5 by 3 And that one's working just fine. For chipmunks, he wanted a trap that wouldn't catch squirrels. What I've got with these also is nose cones. You can see that the nose cone goes right over a den hole. This is all the same type of trapping. Most all the trapping we do is baitless. And this nose cone here goes right over the hole, trap fits up to it. And then I'll again, sometimes I'll, I'll put a little bait in it after it's been here a day or two because they might just be, at that point, they're just coming back to the den. So I'll just put a couple of peanuts in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going <clears> to <throat> go get some more aluminum and put it over the top too. It just rained yesterday and the reason I put this aluminum here is so that the, the seeds show off. And then I'll put, I say I'm going to put another cover over the top. Looks like we got a pair of aces right here, Bry. The little buggers. And we'll just replace them with same traps all over again. There was another hole there I filled in. These I'm just going to set single door. Put a few of the sunflower seeds in there. This one was set over the den hole, but say after they've gone out the first time, you know, you don't need any bait, but after they've gone out, they're coming in from another location and it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of bait in there. I should have put a, just a peanut in there first. That's about all there is to it. Not complicated. Beauty of these traps too is they very rarely miss because of the fact that they cannot go through the trap or get to the bait without pushing on the wire panel that's in the center, the trigger wire panel in the center. We make these in 6x6, 5x5, 3x5, that one right there is a 3x5 with the chipmunk in it for gutter traps for squirrels. And, and then most recently that 3x3.5x16 
upon request. So there's the first two stops of the morning. Five chucks and three cute little chipmunks. How can you beat it? <laughs>